You are now being tuned in to the coolest of the cool, the Cooly Cool Show. Do not adjust your radio. Listening here live on the coolest of the cool of the coolie cool show. Yes, we you're listening here on this Monday, manic Monday night. We rock it from coast to coast, north to south, and yes, maybe even in Antarctica. And if you're in Antarctica, you still haven't sent me a postcard, let me know that you're listening to the coolest show around. Yep, listen here to the coolest of the cool, the coolie cool show. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to like and follow us on our other social media platforms. You can follow me on my TikTok and YouTube channel, both labeled the coolie cool show. You can follow me on my Twitter account at coolie cool 2412. Be sure to follow me also on my Instagram page at Brent underscore the champ. And also, just to let you know, you can also listen to my podcast if you miss it here live. Being brought to you by Spreaker.com. You can also be sure to follow me and listen to the other episodes at iHeartRadio, Spotify, Google Podcasts. We're going to get started in just a couple of seconds, getting things set up, ready for a hot topic of discussion today that's been going on the news the past couple days. Yeah, we're about to get started in just a few moments here on the Cooley Show. Now, 
without further ado, the man that definitely can be heard from coast to coast, north to south, and yes, even maybe in Antarctica, your host, Brent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Woo. All right. Thank you. You're listening here live to the Cool of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show with your host, Brent, kicking it here on this Monday night. Yes. Manic Monday. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? Yeah, that's Monday. Monday night. So, um, Topic of discussion, if you had not already looked at the uh, title of this episode here, uh, Balloons, Aliens, Nonsense. I've been doing a couple podcasts that have come out with uh, breaking news, balloons, and aliens. Um, If you haven't already uh, been figuring out or know about what is in the news and what is all over social media, uh, especially with a lot of people's short stories and videos trying to stir up a little bit of uh, controversy. Um, yep, is in a lot of crazy talk, a lot of stuff that's been going out there. Um, and uh, if you've been following my podcast, I've talked about this extensively. Um, and I told you what was going to probably end coming next of this with the these balloons and then now this objects. Now, I told you that uh, flying saucers, or not flying saucers, but UFO talks were going to be in the news in reference to what's going on. Um, a lot of this, you're getting a lot of, uh, oh, Oh my gosh! It must be it must be a UFO, alien, extraterrestrial life form. You know they're just not telling us something. Yeah, it's getting really nonsense. So um, <sighs> I'm going to break down as far as it, a pretty much of a timeline, as far as uh, what the sequence of events or what's going on right now that's in the news. Um, as far as what's been happening, um, you know, things of that nature, because obviously people are letting their imaginations run rampant, run rampant, run rampant, and run motherfucking wide. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to go try to break this down systematically. All right. Um. So, if you had not already noticed, or haven't known, it's been topical last week. February 4th, um, apparently, um, Chinese surveillance balloon, whatever you want to call it. They want to call it civilian unmanned balloon, whatever. Um, balloon is spotted over in uh, Canada. And it crosses over into the United States airspace coming along Montana, where it's been sighted there. And then later it drifts all down to North Carolina. And then from North Carolina, um, our military had took action by uh, shooting down uh, this balloon. Shot down the balloon, and they end up eventually recovering the balloon um, off the shores of North Carolina, probably Myrtle Beach. (laughs) Um, Then, on uh, this past Friday, a second object was spotted off in Alaska. Now, as this second object... 
They're not saying it was a balloon, but they're saying that it was some sort of object that was uh, spotted in Alaska. And they're pretty much going to say a UFO. But not in the sense of, oh my gosh, it's Independence Day. Oh, there's a little fucking aliens and shit flying, a little fucking flying saucer. They're just going to say, if you know anything, what a UFO stands for, unidentified flying object. Which could be anything that you can't identify. You don't know what it is. It doesn't mean it's extraterrestrial. doesn't mean it's fucking aliens. Um, so, Friday, the second, uh, well, obviously, an object was shot down over in Alaska. There has now been a salvage team to go and recover the down object somewhere. In the Alaskan terrain where it fell down. They apparently know where it's at. And they're presenting salvage team to go recover it. Or have it re-recovered. Uh, like I said, this is getting real stupid. So, so this past Saturday, a third sighting of an identified flying object was shot down over Lake Huron in Canada. By F-16 fighter jets. Well, one, I believe. Um, the, uh, I believe that's the president of Canada ordered um, the uh, shooting of this uh, object that flew over Lake Huron. So, Canada and their president said, hey, we need this shit down. They weren't sure what it was, so they downed it. And then also, on that Saturday, over, I believe, I can't, I don't know exactly where it was at, but the United States did um, pick up on their radar a detection of an, another unidentified flying object. Now, they didn't know what it was, apparently it went off the radar screen, but it was detected on their radar. They're not saying what it was. And then on Sunday, I'm guessing, well, if anybody knows, Sunday uh, was Super Bowl Sunday. Uh, Kansas City Chiefs go against the Philadelphia Eagles. And uh, don't even start with that, but congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs. Kansas City Chiefs came back from behind to pull out a winner to win another Super Bowl. But in the typical topics of what we're talking about, this probably happened early sometime in the morning because I highly doubt they would have this happen during the Super Bowl time, guaranteed. A fourth unidentified flying object was shot down over Michigan. The United States has already said that they've shot it down. And that's as far as what we have so far. And we're now, this is Monday. There's a, probably some more, probably, maybe, I don't know, maybe we have 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, ninth, 10th, who the fuck knows at this fucking point. Just shooting the shit down, fuck it, why not, whatever. But uh, that's pretty much what we have going on at this point in time. And like I said, from the first sighting, which would be on the 4th of February, was registered as a balloon. Where the Chinese uh, the government has officially stated, oh, that's our balloon, it's one of ours. Now, all these other ones have not been said that they're balloons. They've been pretty much told of something else. They're not saying balloon, they're just saying some type of object. UFO. And with them saying it, just an object, a UFO. They're not, they're not telling people what it is. They're not telling them it's a balloon. They're not telling them it's some type of aircraft, some type of something. They're not telling us anything. But obviously, in the woodworks of how we people are, how mankind is, alien talks, extraterrestrial talks, spacecrafts of some other dimension, other life form, yada, yada, fucking yada, have been talked in the 
freaking media. And it's pretty bad when social media is start talking about it. Because when social media starts talking about this stuff, they start making their own elaborate fucking stories and details of events and things of that nature. And they have people start putting videos and things of that nature on social media, putting their little fucking two cents in, talking about, oh, it's probably like, well, you're too putting your two fucking cents in on your fucking cool show. <sighs> oh, my gosh. But at the same time, people are like, oh, it's aliens. Something's going on. And now, like, if you look on, like, especially like TikTok, like, it's gotten bad when people are posting videos and they're like, oh, my gosh, what's going on? There's, there's fucking lights and aliens. Oh, my gosh. And then they're like, showing lights and beams. And I'm like, oh, my gosh. So the whole craze is about alien, extraterrestrial talk. People are starting to paint their own picture to as far as what is happening, what is going on. The White House has officially already came out and said that uh, when they were asked, is, is this alien life form extraterrestrial? And the White House pretty much said, uh, no, this is no extraterrestrial life, extraterrestrial life form. This is nothing of that sort, you know, in reference to the objects that were spotted and seen and shot down. But then apparently you would look onto a lot of these social media platforms is like TikTok and YouTube. People are going to have hundreds upon hundreds of accounts of seeing un- unidentified flying objects in there. Just in formation and lights beaming and all types of fucking crazy shit. You know. So it is beyond um ridiculous as far as what in the hell is fucking happening imaginations are running wild people's creative thoughts are running wild the ufo community is running wild people with past or so-called past alien abductions are running wild it is complete and utter craziness mixed in with some nonsense mixed in with some Jack Bean or Jim Bean, Jack Daniels, throw a little sangria in there with the mix then with some vodka too and then maybe with a five star general shot and if you've had a five star general shot let me know what you think because not many people have had it or not many people know what a five-star general shot, but I can tell you right now, I had a five-star general shot when I was in the service and I'll tell you right now. Yeah, that's enough to just one shot itself. Boy, I tell you. So it's it's right now becoming a uh, confusing comedy show, sideshow, whatever you want to call it, uh, thing that's going on. And I've already touched a little bit basis on the reason why I think a lot of this stuff is just complete nonsense. And I've been telling for the longest time, and I will continue to tell this for the longest time, on what is really going on and what is the whole premise behind this whole entire shit that's happening. It is fueled by the almighty greenback, the dollar dollar bill, y'all. And you have to understand that there are tons of people's hands in the pot on this. And it is just, it gets to the point where you're like, wait, what? This can't be. Yeah, yeah. It, it is. It fucking is. If you think for one bit that this doesn't have anything to do with money, trust me, it does. People have underlining issues, underlining agendas underlining like things that they're trying to get done that they need done i mean and the reason why i say this because we're now hearing about people making up their own assumptions about say oh, i see this in the sky and i think it's a ufo i saw it in the sky my that time hey was shot right over and we was looking at it and i i just said my name must be some aliens up there motherfucker about type or you know we were Sitting out in the backyard of our estate, and we looked up to the sky, and what we saw was bright lights, and it was a beam of ray, and it 
was so gallant, and it wasn't anything of this world. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, dude. This deals with space and in space programs all around the world, and I'm telling you because there's just a standstill. Not many people are invested in space anymore. So, and if you know anything, space, space programs, space talks, things of that nature, space programs like NASA and all the other, they get paid billions of fucking dollars. Billions of dollars. Probably up in the fucking trillions. And I know somebody say, oh, you're not a believer in space. I'm not saying I'm not a believer in space. But what I'm saying is space isn't actually, is actually a fucking jobs market where they house and have so many jobs for this industry of space. And it's a job. It's basically built on jobs because you have to have tons of people. And the, the, the intentions are there are good. People want to travel the cosmos and space. And that's never going to happen. We're not going to be fucking traveling to no fucking, you know, other fucking planet in a fucking that looks like Earth or. But no, it's not going to happen because the billion of light years is away. No, it's not happening. We can barely get to Mars. They were like, we got rovers on Mars. Yeah, we got rovers on Mars. Sure. You, it is what it is. If it's there, it's there. I'm not disputing it. Okay? But it takes roughly maybe about four to six months to get to fucking Mars. Then they want to send, oh, we want to send humans to Mars. For, you know, space exploration. Doesn't it sound like they're feeling up to kind of stack up on some cash? To sure the survivability of any of those astronauts to go to Mars? Gotta have tons of money in order to do this. Tons of research, tons of funding, and all this other shit. Like, at a standstill, we were pretty much calmed down from anybody wanting to really talk about space. Space wasn't a big priority. Not a big priority. And when it's not a big priority, people lose a lot of money. Jobs are very scarce. Now, people say, well, space can't be fake. It can't be fake because you have tens of people who work on certain parts and pieces. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the idea of certain things that's happening right now, as we're talking about, is putting place to space. Because think about this. In a situation that I've said on my podcast, you feel the hearts and minds of the people and saying, what's going on? They shot down a balloon. The now is saying they shot down an unknown UFO, which i.e. unidentified flying object does not necessarily mean an extraterrestrial life form or alien life form. It just means it's an unknown fucking item that's flying that was in the airspace. They just don't know what the fuck it is. Does that mean? Alien, okay? So, shoot it down. People start getting crazy talk. People start believing back in this space. Well, guess what? I remember when I was a kid, blah, 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 that, yeah, yeah. So, guess what? Certain companies, certain people start feeling into the funding of space. Slowly but surely, money is going to be allocated and going to be given generously to these space programs. And all these space programs are all in cahoots because guess what? The United States does it the way. Guess what? Another company does it the same way. Guess what? Another country does a space program the same way. It fuels money. And it's a big money. We're talking big money to get people invested. And guess what? They're probably, like I said, they're doing probably stockpiling this money to maybe probably plan a mission with humans going to Mars. But in order to do so, they've got to have tons and tons of money. And people say, what are they bringing, you know, $100 bills onto the planet of Mars? What's that? No. They're feeling the stockpile shit. So to get all the supplies necessary and needed because it's going to cost money. Think about this. I like to do um, examples. If you watch my podcast, listen to my podcast, I like to do examples. So you figure this way. Example, you are getting ready to, let's see, you and your family are going to go to Disney World. So you and your family get to go to Disney World. You figure, okay, well, we're going to purchase the tickets for a week, week, week stay. We're going to first pick a hotel, figure the hotel for that many, whatever, X, Y dollars. Then you pick the amount of tickets because you say you want to go there. 
So you're budgeting, you're figuring out, okay, this is how much it's going to cost. And then next thing you're like, okay, how are we going to be drive flying? We're like, oh, we're going to fly. So then you budget how much money you need for actually airfare. Then you figure and count of spending money. So did you come up with a budget on how much money you're going to overall need in order to accomplish this? So as you're doing that, you're like, oh, man, we got to need to save and we're going to need to stockpile some money up, some extra funds so we can have a fun time, a comfortable time while we're at Disney World without having to be like, oh, shit, it's kind of tight. No, you want to enjoy your time well spent there on your vacation without having to worry about uh, feeling strapped for cash. Now, this goes along with common sense. The same shit that you do for planning for a vacation is the same shit that these space programs are doing to try to maybe plan a mission to Mars or whatever the hell their objective are on doing something in space. They're planning ahead. And in order for them to plan ahead, they've came out with the figures, the numbers, the amount needed in order to do what they need to do in order to feel comfortable or be comfortable in the achievement of their goal. It's the same shit. Same thing. I've told you on my show, it is not a freaking complex idea or a design in any of this. It is a very, very, very simple, complex, well, very simple idea. It's common sense. Common sense perspective. Don't think too much into it. Don't think it's very, you know, a complex thought process. It's not. It's a very simple one. But yet the simplest one is the most effective way. And people buy too much into the complexity of something. And it's like, it's not even like that. It's actually like this. But guess what? People are people are our own worst enemies. We start thinking other shit. Start thinking this here. Start doing this. And everybody just starts assuming and this and that. Yeah, yeah. Next thing you have a stop all shit and next show, you're like, what the fuck, man? Things have gotten spiral out of control. And this leads by all the way back to what's going on. You have unidentified objects being shot down. And people on social media are taking to the fucking mainstream, trying to send their videos and get people views and this or that. Talking about, oh, it's aliens, aliens, you know, let's say, oh, my gosh, what's going on? This is, and stirring up a craze. So there were people now like, oh, well, we have a space force, we have this going on. Oh, we got a fuel, we got to send money to kind of get the research and technology done because they're, they're going to really go. We're going to really have things. See, like the movie Independence Day, you know, we're going to have aliens, we're going to have inter. inter- Galactic war and fighting aliens because now the aliens are mad that we shot them down. Man, I don't want to tell you. All right, in the game, my little spiel about fucking aliens. All right, I've already told you, and I've told many people, I'll continue to keep saying it. Look at this from common sense. All right, literally common sense. If aliens are to be the most advanced species because they can fucking travel here to Earth. Why the fuck do aliens need to fucking announce their fucking presence to hear us on Earth? To be like flying in the clouds in the sky with fucking spotlights. To where people go like, oh, I see them. They're, they're, they're there right there. No. That's fucking retarded. If they were to come here, would you think they would want to let everyone know that they're here? By Flashing their lights, big ass spotlights to be seen by every fucking body. No. If they're smart, intelligent life, they would have already developed something where they don't need to use bright white fucking spotlights to see the Earth's terrain or areas around it. No. On top of that, also, with aliens so called abducting people, taking them up to the mothership. You would assume, why is it that all the time, and I've touched on this too, why aliens would always have to abduct, and the people who claim to be abducted by aliens are prominent members of society. People with great credibility. People that you'd be like, oh, well, if it's happened to them, they're credible. That they, they, yeah, I have, they're, they, you know, they're, they're, they're telling the truth. But then, 
you never heard anybody from the low come areas, the poverty areas, the ghettos, the hoods, the broke down fucking areas having been abducted by aliens. And if you were to hear them, you would totally dismiss it because you'd be like, they're not credible. You would assume that they're high on something. You would assume that they're drunk. You would assume that they're just fucking crazy out of their goddamn minds. But we're going to believe these scholars, these elites of the elites, these credible people, these well-educated people, that they wouldn't remotely lie about anything. They were remotely lie be involved in no bullshit. But we take them for word and we dismiss the other. Have common sense. Common sense, please. Like, understand the whole vastness to this whole thing. Stop believing in the fucking wolf tickets. I did a podcast also with labeled who's selling wolf tickets? Because trust me, the wolf tickets is being sold. And many people around the world are buying into this. And it's just getting bad. Especially in light of sightings of UFOs, objects flying in the air, being shot down. I mean, there. And the thing is, US has already said they shot them down. And do you know how much one of these like side wonder missiles cost, or heat seeking missiles cost? They're in the fucking millions. And people says, well, they wouldn't do that. You know, it costs that much money to waste that money just to utilize one missile on some fake shit or whatever. Look, I ain't the person on the budget of the missiles, but they test a lot of shit. And trust me, goes back to what I said before. The United States has an unlimited supply of money. So, for the United States military to test one of their uh, rockets off one of their fighter jets, that's chump change. They're not really concerned about it. Matter of fact, they're probably testing to make sure the shit actually works. So that way they can be like, alright, it's still working, everything's going good. You know, make sure the system's targeting well. The United States has tons of money. Tons of money. And this is Bramps Brown. Coming back to what I said, coming full circle. It's about money. It's always been about money. It's always going to be about money when it comes to the United States. Because the United States is a fucking business. Alright? Let's get that shit straight. If you think I'm bullshitting you, every country has something to fucking profit from the United States. Because we are a fucking business. And we are the best fucking business to do business with. And that's the truth. And nothing but the truth. So. If you think I'm just jiving you. Or bullshitting you. Listen. I'm telling you. It's the truth. And having here it says. White House don't panic. Down UFOs are not aliens. This is exactly what I'm telling you. They're saying this. Because they don't want to fucking cause a massive problem. Now, if they're saying the reason this is not aliens, the reason why they're coming, because it's not alien. They don't want people fucking acting crazy. But at the same time, people are going to feel their own fucking thought process. And people, I, like I said, people are going to start talking about the government's lying. They're covering something up. This is bullshit. They're fucking lying. They're hiding about fucking aliens. Look at Roswell, New Mexico. Look at that, man. They're fucking lying. So they let people run rampant with the ideas of what they think. And guess what? People are going to be like, yes. You have people that says they're going to come out the woodworks. No, the government's lying. I've been, I've seen them. And I've seen what they could do and this and that. Come on, man. Come on. Use fucking common sense. Please. Don't be fueled by the fucking nonsense. It's all fueled by money. It all is. I gave you my perspective on the whole thing. On my last podcast. It really is fueled by money. And with people with fucking hidden agendas to this. Now, for whatever reason they're doing this, I'm telling you, it's space-based, okay? Space-based. 
based because we're not hearing much talk about fucking space. Okay, for whatever reason, what are they doing? It's fueled on. I'm, I'm, I'm probably concise. This says, you know what? If they're planning a mission to Mars, you need money. Go back to planning your vacation trip for the summer. You need to stockpile up on money in order to be able to accomplish your goal, to have enough to be comfortable without having issues of feeling tight on your vacation. You want to be like, no worry here. You can buy this, buy a little stuffed animal toy. This is what it is. It seems like it's very complex. It's not complex. It's what you and I and everyone else does when they're planning some type of vacation or whatever. You want to feel comfortable going into vacation. You don't want to feel fucking strapped. It's a very simple complex. It's what I told people from the beginning. I said, guess what? It's like fucking a magician. The magician is leading you in misdirection. Because guess what? If I can fool you with something, you're not seeing what I'm doing right in front of you. But I'm actually using misdirection. <sighs> telling you. I'm, t- I'm telling you. You know, I, I got to, I gotta, you know what? I just want to know what some of these elites of the elites, their stories are. And I think, you know, I might have a, a one elite to elites story, you know, uh, who might be able to tell me what their story was when they saw this uh, uh, alien war, or UFO in the space. So, uh, we got him right here. So, um, their name is, uh, what's, what's his name? Richard Roy. So we're going to interview Roy right now, and Roy's going to tell us exactly what they saw, and, you know, he's, you know, so we're going to go over a little bit of Roy's accolades, he's a prominent member of society, you know, he pays his taxes, you know, he does everything prominent and everything right, so we're gonna go, go give us what your account, what you saw uh, the past couple days about these uh, UFOs that you uh, encountered. Yes, uh, yes, uh, Brent, uh, I'd like to say that I, uh, I was looking at my backyard, and, uh, you know, if my, uh, 15,000 square feet of land, and uh, I was looking out into the night sky while uh, drinking my uh, cognac, and I was drinking my cognac, I was looking up to the sky, and I saw several objects that seemed to be moving in a uh, some type of formation, and as they were moving in some type of formation, I saw lights that came on. They were very definitive in a certain pattern. I told my wife about it. We both gazed up into the sky, the night sky, and we couldn't make anything of it. But we took our uh, cell phones out, or the newest cell phone that we have, <laughs> and we began recording it. And as we recorded, we found out, yes, there has to be some type of extra. It wasn't anything that was man-made. You know, it possibly could be. Okay, okay, okay thanks, thanks for I appreciate you. Um, you know, we're going to go now interview um, uh, Jim Bob and uh, you know Leroy, who you know uh looked into the sky and I guess they saw something of that descent. Uh, we're first gonna go talk to uh, go talk to uh Jim Bob. Jim Bob, what, what, what was your story? All right, my look, look, I'm gonna tell you right now. Okay, now look. My, I was sitting out back making the moon shine, and actually, I looked up in the sky. I'm gonna tell you, I looked at the sky. I see these bright white lights, man. I was like, man, I said, I think I've been in the fuck, fuck moonshine making this little bit too much. I know I have a little sip of moonshine and everything, but shit, I looked up there. I'm like, man, I see some bright lights. Now, granted, them, them, them damn lights was moving back and forth, and I couldn't stand straight, but I'm telling you, and they were flying. They would make kind of different movements and shit. But man, I'll tell you right now, I was like, I, I, I couldn't make out what the fuck it was, but I'm sure that shit was motherfucking alien. Okay, thanks, 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 Jim. But okay, we're gonna go into uh, uh, Leroy. Le- he, he, what, what'd you see, Leroy? All right. All right, man, damn. All right, this is what I saw, yo. All right, check it out. Now, 
I was shitting back right now, you know what I'm saying? Shooting the dice, you know what I'm saying? Playing the C low game, you know what I mean? So next thing I look up the top, me and my homeboys look up, yo, yo, what the fuck is that? Next thing we see, holy shit, yo, we see some motherfucking lights in the motherfucking area, yo. As you see the lights in the area, uh, man, we was holy shit. But then next you know, we some other lights coming from behind us. So, yo, we was like, yo, fuck it, we got to get the fuck up out here, you know what I mean? So I was straight up running, you know, I was do 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 run fast as I could, jump over the fence and anything, you know what I'm saying? So I ain't bring no more attention, you know what I'm saying? Hey. All right, appreciate it. Thanks, thanks for the thing. Now, for you, the listeners, all my two great listeners. Now, which one do you fucking think that people are going to be more inclined to fucking listen to? Yeah, you're going to listen to fucking uh, the, the imaginary person that I just gave up with this fucking fake interview shit. You know, fucking Roy. You're going to be like, oh, well, even though it sounds a little scholarly, a little bit too big, but you'd probably take him over the other two. I'm telling you, man. It's fucking malarkey. Malarkey, malarkey. But <sighs> people just don't understand how easily they can be fooled on the fucking craziness that people come up and come up with. That's what I say. Don't be fooled. Please don't be fooled by the nonsense that are going on today. Alright? I mean what weren't we just talking about was us in China tensions rise over the spy and I talked about yesterday the Venezuela Venezuela was a, was a fascist country anyway or a socialist country so you know they're gonna coincide with you know China and Russia anyway so that's why they said that they think the United States overreacted too well, of course you know um, they don't mind it but trust me if it was uh, you know somebody else they, they'd probably be up in arms about it now like i said i touched about apparently that balloon had flew over in montana looking for bigfoot then they came across some missile you know silos missile side nuclear silos in montana yeah mm-hmm. sounded kind of weird right china got caught now they had to come up with some bullshit in order to try to oh what would noise <sighs> Balloons, aliens, and nonsense. I'm telling you, do not buy into any of this crap. I'm pretty sure in the coming days we're going to have something else that comes up. And, you know, Lord knows how many other fucking balloon. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, objects are in the air that they're going to come up with. Or just check around and you're going to see so many other people are going to start talking about this and just start going off the hinges with other shit. Just so that way they can themselves feel good about, oh, yeah, this is fucking aliens. I'm telling you, it's money, money fueled, money issued. It is. Oh. Well. My, uh. Uh, you know what that song means? We've come to another end of a wonderful show here on the Coolest of the Cool, the Cooly Cool Show. Like I said, we touched a bit on balloons, aliens, and nonsense. All this is seeming like fucking nonsense. More likely is. Garen fucking teed. So, trust me, we're going to have more shit come down the pipeline as alien talks, and it's going to be by man. Because we human men, mankind, are corrupt, and we have a hidden agenda, and it's fueled by fucking money. So, trust it. Alright. Well, like I said, I scratch my head sometimes wondering what the fuck is going on. So, other than that, you know, we rack it from. Well, I'm not going to say that. So, other than that, if you haven't done so already, be sure to like and follow us on other social media platforms. If you haven't done so already, you can be free to follow me on my YouTube and TikTok channel, both labeled The Cooly Cool Show. You can also follow me on my Twitter account at Cooly Cool 2412. You can also follow me on my Instagram page at Brent underscore the champ. And also, if you missed this episode here fully, you can always go back and listen to it by um, following on Spreaker.com. Also, we're on iHeartRadio, Spotify, and Google Podcasts. So... Like I said, we rock up coast to coast, north to south, and yes, maybe even in Antarctica. So if you're in Antarctica, 
Is it cold? Because apparently in certain areas of North America, the weather is completely fucked. So I don't know what's going on. But anyway, you're to here. Live on the coolest of the cool. The Cooly Cool Show. Your host, Brent. Take care. Bye.